Good day and welcome to our short explanation and demonstration of NVMe PCIe M.2 drives. Really what we're trying to find out here is, is there a difference between the different drives? So here we've got three different disks. We have the uh, one that Dell shipped us, which is a Micron 2200S. We have a Crucial P1, one terabyte. Very big note here, not the 500 gig. The 500 gig is not very good. Crucial P1's excellent. And we have the Adata XPG Gamex S11 two terabyte. Let's take a look at the numbers. So before we benchmark, we patch, we make sure the BIOS is up to date, we get everything up to scratch. So this shipped with 1903, I'm gonna patch it up to 1909, Windows 10 1909. And I'm also running all of the firmware updates to make sure that uh, the BIOS and everything else is set to its happiest before we do a benchmark. Okay, so there's a nice test completed. Let's take a look at the CPU, so about a thousand. And the disk is doing actually pretty good. That's the factory SSD from Dell. So a Micron uh, 2200, 256 gig NVMe. So let's run the same test now with the Crucial P1 and see what that looks like. All right, so let's flip it over. I've already got the screws loosened on this one. Pop it off. There's the M2, we'll just unscrew it and replace it. Okay, so that's put back together. I'm gonna leave the back off loose. Thank you. And I'll power it up, I will image it, and I will benchmark it, and we'll show you the results. So the Wi-Fi is turned off, it's been fully, the unit's been fully patched, the antivirus is off, and we're working with the uh, Crucial P1, which is exactly like this one. All right, so let's go and fire up benchmarks. And yet again, I'll skip through it so you don't have to sit here and watch. We'll run them three times and you'll see the results. All right, so let's go into this and take a look. Yeah, so we're pretty consistently coming up with a 1600 uh, megabit per second uh, write speed, megabyte per second uh, write speed, and uh, 1100 uh, read speed, which is pretty darn impressive. So that's on the Crucial P1, which is $130, $140 Canadian, so pretty darn cheap. Let's try it now with the Gamex XPG, this is supposed to be even faster, uh, M.2 2 terabyte. So for this one, and because I'm actually going to leave this one in it, going to leave this one in it, I need to pull this heat shield off, which is pretty straightforward. You just pry it off. It's funny because you pay a little bit extra for that heat shield, but anyway, it's just taped on so you can pop it off without any trouble. See that? Just double-sided tape. And to make it fast, I'm simply going to put the cover on loose. When uh, you're not watching, I'll screw it down tight. So I'm going to image it, and then we'll benchmark it again, see what the results are. All right, so same drill on this third one. We have uh, now have the GameX S11 Pro 2 terabyte installed. We have the antivirus uh, turned off. We have the Wi-Fi turned off, and let's run the tests. And again, we will not make you wait. We'll just show you the results. Just look at the different performance specs between those three different M.2 NVMe drives in the exact same Dell 5300 2-in-1 laptop. Pretty astonishing. So the moral of the story is while the base M.2 NVMe SSDs are fine because they're still so much faster than spinning disks and even SATA connected SSDs, there are enormous performance differences uh, between the faster NVMe PCIe uh, connected drives. So uh, if you care about that, uh, then you're going to want to choose carefully. If you're like most people, you're just playing uh, games here and there, and you are not transferring giant files constantly, you're surfing and so on and so forth, it won't make the slightest difference to you. But if you are a heavy drive user, 
boy, that'll make a big difference in your world. Okay, if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.